Number 1. Faro Cathedral. This monument was started in 1251, just two years after Faro had been reconquered from the Moors. That explains the warlike appearance of the facade, dominated by a square Gothic tower, one of the few things that dates back to the cathedral's earliest years. You can scale this tower to gaze over Faro streets and the lagoon. The remainder of the building has changed because of an attack by the English in the 1596, raising almost everything. Number 2. Arco da Vila. In 1812 Old Faro's waterside gateway was given a striking neoclassical redesign. This was done by the Italian architect Francisco Xavier Fabri, giving Faro seafaring visitors a stately welcome. There are pediments, a balustrade, pinnacles and a belfry, on top of which is a permanent stork's nest. Just above the portal you can see a statue of St. Thomas Aquinas in an alcove. Number 3. Cidade Vela. You could use this arch by the marina to enter Faro's old town, which is night and day compared to the rest of the city. This enclave is much quieter, with Calcutta Portuguesa, whitewashed houses roofed with terracotta tiles, and sequestered little squares where you might discover solitary restaurants. Make for the beautiful plaza in front of the cathedral, which has rows of orange trees. Number 4. Ria Formosa Cruz. The coast of Faro is a nature reserve protecting an immense lagoon that runs along the coast for 60 kilometers. The Ria Formosa is where natural splendor and traditional modes of life are safeguarded. The bird life is as rich as it gets and includes flamingos, razorbills, spoonbills, storks, ospreys, stilts, shanks and the florid purple swamp hen. Number 5. Island Beaches. The lagoon's outer islands are trimmed with golden sandy beaches. And since the only way to reach them is by boat, these beaches are completely unspoiled. On quieter days there are no signs of human life beyond the lighthouse and small isolated communities on the Ila da Colatra. You can catch a ferry out to Ila da Colatra, or see Ila Beretta, also known as Ila Deserta, on a guided boat trip. Number 6. Agrija do Carmo. Built in the middle of the 18th century, this church is among the Algarve's most prized historical monuments. It has all the hallmarks of Portuguese Baroque architecture, and the best sculptors in the region were recruited to craft its gilded woodwork. Check out the stained glass and tilework inside, before moving on to the church's creepy ossuary. Number 7. Faro Municipal Museum. This is the second oldest museum in the Algarve, opening in 1894 on the 500th anniversary of the birth of Henry the Navigator. In 1969 it moved to its current home, the 16th century Nossa Senhora Assunção Convent, and the cloister is a solemn home for the museum's archaeological displays. The bulk of the collection is from the Roman period, and there are several inscribed stones, a mosaic from the 2nd century. Number 8. Morales de Faro. The walls that continue to encircle the compact old town have primitive, pre-Roman origins. During this empire they were beefed up, and later restored twice during the Moorish period in the 9th and then the 12th century. This second phase, during the Almohad Caliphate, gave us the Arco do Raposo Arch of Rest, which remarkably is still standing. Number 9. Almirante Ramalha Ortigao. It's always interesting to learn how life used to be in the Algarve before it was a tourist destination. This museum shows you just that, and is set in the Port Authority buildings and founded back in 1931. There's an introduction here to the marine species off these shores, like tuna, squid and sardines, and the story of Faro's once prosperous fishing industry. Number 10. Praia de Faro. This beach is one you can get to by road. It's just past the airport, and you can use the bus that serves the airport from the center of Faro to get there. As with the beaches on the islands of the Ria Formosa, there's a seemingly endless length of pristine golden sand with knee-high waves. Where the road crosses the lagoon there's a clutch of hotels and bars, so you'll have no shortage of facilities in the busier areas. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.